All right, thank you, Vanessa. Now to the health alert, bringing South Florida into the national spotlight, and that is for the wrong reason, being the Zika virus. The health department now reports 15 non-travel-related infections. Doctors still believe all of these transmissions took place in the Wynwood area, but they are treating the newest case outside of that area. CBS 4's Donna Rapato joins us live from Wynwood with the very latest information. And Donna, you just found out some new information about this morning's mosquito spraying, right? That's right. A busy morning uh, out in Kendall where uh, the Miami Executive Airport out there, there's a plane that was just loaded up with insecticide. Let's go ahead and show you some video. This is all within the last 30 minutes or so. This plane being loaded up with insecticide so that they could spray over about a 10 square mile uh, area out here in the downtown area, Wynwood area of Miami. Again, a growing problem. 15 uh, cases now and they are trying to eradicate this problem, but we've learned that that plane is not going to be able to dump this insecticide, at least not for now uh, this morning uh, because of weather, maybe possibly later today. For now, let's go ahead and take a look at what local leaders are doing out here in Wynwood. Wet weather and Zika, the story in Wynwood where the reality that health and tourism issues are beginning to fester on the health side. Women are scared to death. Mosquito-borne Zika locally transferred can cause severe birth defects. Pregnant women who visited in Wynwood since June 15th should get tested. All pregnant women should wear repellent. There are now 15 cases confirmed, 14 linked to Wynwood, and the 15th unclear where the infection occurred. I'm the mayor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wow, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet yeah. you. Carlos Jimenez, the mayor of Miami-Dade County, took a look in Wynwood Tuesday. He was on the streets reassuring merchants, restaurant and bar owners, gallery proprietors that the county was stepping up efforts to combat Zika in the Miles Square area north of downtown. Earlier, he met with members of the Wynwood Business Improvement District to brief them on what is being done. We're going to be getting uh, some aerial spraying of a 10 square mile area. And the mayor told the Wynwood business persons that the tourists will be getting mosquito repellent and that the state and feds had pledged full cooperation. Spraying and fogging would be ramped up even further. Is it closed? Yeah, it's closed. This outdoor eating venue closed. An art gallery owner says business has slacked off. We have seen a significant decrease of uh, inflow of, uh, of, uh, of customers. However, bars and restaurants report steady business. It appears some tourists are adapting. Yeah, we bought DEET bug spray and then have just been using it. Meanwhile, $1.8 billion to fight Zika held up in the U.S. Senate. If they don't understand that this is now a, a crisis with what has just happened in Miami, uh, then they've got uh, really, they're, they're putting their heads in the sand. And I was out here Saturday night, which is usually hopping in the Wynwood area, and it was markedly uh, very much less uh, amount of people out here. The crowd's not, not quite as busy as it usually is. And at that point, there were just four confirmed cases. Now we're at 15. And that plane may or may not go out later, depending on the weather. Again, a plane out of the Miami Executive Airport being loaded up with insecticide. We're live in Wynwood. Donna Rapato, CBS4, this morning.